Hey everybody, it's Corey here from Par2 Pro, here with one of our favorite testers, Al, and we're here checking out the HMT for the GC2. Uh, and today we've had to mark our clubs, register the product, download the latest software and firmware, install, restart, align, and now we're ready to show you. So we've got uh, just a limited, little bit of time here to show you one round. We're gonna take you into the club fitting software. So we're not going to do a quick start, but we are going to go to the Foresight range, going to pick the right-handed male player, and you can. we're just going with the default options and the game options. So the first thing that comes up is your club selection. You can create a new club, or we've got one here that we've already created called Al uh, for his 5-iron. So we're just going to click on that and go ahead, Al, anytime you're ready. Okay, so what we've got here is the first page that comes up on the shot analysis actually takes you through all of the data. So just taking you through male right-handed, there's the club that we're using called Al. Uh, it takes you through your efficiency, which gives you your club head speed, ball head speed, or sorry, the ball speed and efficiency. There's the launch condition, which is your launch angle, azimuth, side spin, back spin, and total spin. Then gives you your flight, which is your peak height, your descent angle. It gives you the downrange information, which is your carry, your total distance, and how far offline you are. It gives you your club head information, which is your vertical path, your horizontal path, your face to path, your face to target, your lie, your loft, and your horizontal and vertical impact. So that's a really a ton of information all in one. It's nice when you're comparing a lot of data. Thanks, Al. And we're going to take you to the club data page, which is, this is a lot nicer because it's really easy to see all of this information. So here's your club head speed, your smash factor. Nice smash factor there, Al. Um, your, where your impact location is. Uh, this was on the low center, and it actually gives you all in the heights, your lies, your face angle to target, your face angle to path, and we're going to give you all this information over here, the loft, the attack angle, and your path, which was inside out 3.7. Now, Al, how was this data compared to your shots out on the course? That is basically my normal exact shot I hit outside. I hit a, I hit a kind of a lower draw, basically, with my 5-iron, for sure. Cool. So, and there's the one last tab here, which is a performance tab. Now, this is really nice because it's just an all-in-one shot. Uh, it's going to give you the ball and club head performance, your velocities, again, all the same kind of data, your ball speed, your club speed, smash factor, face angle, face angle to path, your ball data, and your carry, which total distance, offline, peak height, side spin, uh, and total spin. So, and that's all represented on the target line here and your impact line which is the red line there so this is a really nice visual that gives you all of your club and ball data uh, all of everything that you want on one page so again that's just the HMT for your GC2 and we're just going to show you one quick thing here where we can turn on some lights so we can see it a little better still in a low light area but uh, this is how we put tape on our clubs. So there's actually four stickers on the club and the unit itself attaches to the HMT. The HMT attaches to the GC unit and pretty straightforward. So it was uh, overall not too bad, but as far as the setup and as far as the use, the data that you're getting is just a completely and utterly invaluable tool. So. We hope to do some more testing with the HMT and put out another video shortly. If for more information, you can visit us on www.par2pro.com. Thanks, Al. Thanks.